Fire over yet? No. Coming out for lunch. Well, I better go and see if it's ready. Joe don't care how long the trial lasts. As long as he can feed the jury. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. <laughs> How's the trial going, Dan? Mills has built up a pretty strong case against me. You catch them, Larson. And I convict them. Wallace Mead sure looks like a killer, whether he is or not. We're proving that he is. Eating, Dan? Not just yet. Still bent on cleaning up this town, are you? Yep. And if we convict Wally Smead of killing Pearson, it'll be the first step toward it. Well, Wally's beat trials for two other killings. And if you ask me, the blame town ain't worth cleaning up. Whether it is or not, there's someone responsible for this crooked work around here, and I aim to find out who it is. You can't sit here. These tables are for the jury. You don't suspect Mills or the judge for failing to enforce the law, do you? Frankly, Carl, I'm ready to suspect everybody. It might even be Smead's lawyer, that fellow from El Paso. Whoever it is had influence enough to try and get me transferred out of here. But they didn't succeed. Politics don't mix with the Ranger Service. Getting scared of you, huh? Maybe. How's Miss Molly standing up under the trial? She's feeling a little better. Her father's killing was an awful shock. Staying in town, ain't she? Yeah, at the hotel with the judge's wife. Molly, being underage, there's some question what they'll do with the rank. standing right there. Are you the ranger? Yep. What's on your mind? Well, I'm one of the new hands out at the Pearson Ranch. This morning I was chasing what I thought was some strays. When I caught up, there was a bunch of men driving them off. They took a shot at me, so I hightailed it to town. Where was this? You know where the creek road forks off at Cottonwood Canyon? Well, they was headed west from there. I'll get some of the boys and pick up their trail. Thanks. That'll be fine. I have a hunch it's a trap, Carl. I'd be obliged if you'd keep your eye on that stranger and see what he does next. Glad to for you, Dan.
Better find another table, friend. This here's the jury. Jury, huh? No wonder you look scared. There ain't one of you here got nerve enough to hang Wally Smead. Who says we ain't? I do. You're crazy. We all know he's guilty. I'm voting that way, and so's the rest of them. Don't you realize that may cause a mistrial? What's the matter with you, Hanby? Deputy, throw that man out. Come on, you. Get out of What's up, Dan? I heard you fellas lost some stock. Well, if I have, we don't know nothing about it. Have you got a new hand, a dark, slim fellow with a scar on his chin? No. The only two we've taken on since the old man was killed are short and bow-legged. What's wrong? I don't know myself yet. Did they find Wally Smeet guilty? The trial is over. Well, if they turn him loose again, there's going to be some rope stretched around here. Not if I can help it. Where'd that Scarface fellow go? I don't know. But he got into a ruckus with one of the jurors, and the judge threw the case out of court. So they turned Wally Smead loose, did they? Yeah. And he lit out of town like a scared jackrabbit. The judge claimed the jury declared itself before the evidence was all heard. Some more crooked business. Carl, this whole thing is aimed at me personally. Can I use your phone? Why, sure thing. But what you aiming to do? I'm quitting the Rangers right now. You've made your move. Now I'll make mine. Are you addressing me? Yes. And you, Burke, and Mills. By a legal trick, the three of you turned Wally Smead loose. Men, there ain't no law and order in this town. Turning Smead loose was all framed. You're right. Even Larson is in on it. Why did he leave town just before it happened? Boys, when the law fails, there's just one thing to do, and we've got to do it. Larson's just got back. He's joining them other scoundrels in the judge's office. It's time for a showdown. Come on. Come on, boys. I'm coming to see you. You know he killed Pearson, and you know he'll kill somebody else, because he's that kind. People around here are getting mighty tired of your brand of law. I'll have you fired out of the ranger service for this. You can't do that, Mills. I can, and will. No, Judge. Not even you can do it. You see, I'm not a ranger anymore. I just phoned my captain and resigned. I figured I wasn't doing much good behind that star. No matter who I arrested or how guilty they were, you turned them loose. From now on, I'm going to be my own judge and jury. Maybe the executioner, too. I'm going to enforce the law this country knew before there were courts like this one. You won't get away with it. Oh, yes, I will. And Wally Smead's the first man I'm going after. Anybody who tries to stop me will be next on my list. I reckon he's on the square. Yeah, he sure meant what he said. 
<laughs> so you see, I figure now there's no ranger in town. Whoever's in back of this will come out in the open and show his hand. Yeah, and he's liable to have a gun in it when he shows it. Yeah. But as a private citizen, I can do more than when I pack the star. I've already found out that Scarface fellow's working for the Circle T outfit. That ranch is owned in El Paso, ain't it? Supposed to be, but nobody knows much about it. It's always just over the mountain. Yeah, like they hang out for a bunch of rustlers and killers. I'm leaving my horse in the alley in back of your barn. I might have to leave town in a hurry. Good idea. See you later. Oh, Dan, Miss Molly wants to see you in the lobby. Thanks, Joe. Sure. Hello, Molly. Hello, Dan. Why did you resign? Oh, I'm so worried about you. About everything. Molly, why don't you let me run your ranch for a while? I'm sure I could straighten things out. I'd like to, really. But I can't. Why? Lawson, what you ask is impossible. Miss Pearson is a ward of the court. I'm going to appoint Kemper Mills her guardian until she becomes of age. Somebody killed Tom Pearson to get his ranch. I'm going to find out who did it, whether you like it or not. You get out of town or I... Are you agreeable to what he says about the ranch? Why? Why, yes. I'm going to run the ranch with Mr. Mills' help, and the judge will advise me. I see. Just the same, I'll be watching out for you, Molly. I'd rather you wouldn't. There's been so much killing. Maybe you'd better go away. Dan, you're letting your head run away with your reason. I'm willing to forget what happened this afternoon. Pin this on again and leave town. You can't do anything but harm here. The only harm I'll do is to those who have it coming to them. If you should need any help, Molly, I'll come whenever you want me. Can't you do something, Judge? He may be killed. He's taken matters out of our hands, Molly. Nobody can stop him now. And where was the ranger when he was needed? Looks to me like he was part of the plot to free Smeed. Maybe that's why he quit before he got thrown out. I can't understand how a kid like that was ever made a ranger anyhow. They say he's poisoned with a six gun. Yeah, and he ain't shouting much yet. Has a posse gone out after Smeed? Do you reckon they'll catch him? If they do, they won't. Did you catch them rustlers yet? There weren't any rustlers, stranger. Funny how a man can be mistaken. There was no mistake. You lied. You're only small fry, Umbre. I'm after the man who hired you. And you're gonna tell me who he is. Come on. Well, looks like you got your wish to bring him out into the open. My horse is in back of the barn. I'll sneak out the back way. The front door of the barn's open. You can get out the back window. I'll stall them all. Good. I just saw Ice and go on to Beaver. Come on, let's 
corner him. Kinda looks that way. Where is he? Well, your guess as good as mine. Search the place if you want to. He's gone out the back way, boys. Come on. There he goes now into Beeman's barn. He's staying in one spot. Take good aim and we'll give him a volley. Can't get far, now we hit him. Come on. Howdy. Hi. Is this the Circle T? Some say it is, and others say it ain't. Suppose it is. What of it? I was thinking I might get a job. All hiring's done in El Paso. This is a blame funny outfit. I was talking to one of your hands yesterday. A fellow with a scar on his chin. A scar on his chin? No, his chin. Oh. Scar on his chin. Oh, that would be Bud Cooper. Is he around? You know, he was here. But he went off to that cabin up in their mountain, where the boys... Uh, well, it's none of your business what they do up there. If you should see any of them, remind them to get me that skillet. Lost molding. Folded at Fred Sims. Never could find it. How do they expect me to cook without a skillet? Down off of there.
We didn't finish our business last night, Cooper. Who hired you to ruin Smee's murder trial? I hired out to do it, down in El Paso. Who was it? Smee's lawyer? Yeah, Burke. Anybody else in on it? Not that I know of. Who owns the Circle T? I don't know. Fred Sims is the foreman. Turn around. Start walking. Put your hands in the back of you. Where's that cabin you were heading for? I wasn't headed for any cabin. My mistake. Your boss is on, I'm after. I'll scout around for a while and come back for you later. You must have thought I was dumb when I left you tied so loose. But I wanted you to get away, so you could lead me to that cabin ahead of us. You're liable to be sorry you found it. That's my lookout. Now I'll show you some real time. Sims and the boss. All alone, Wally? Yes. The boss told Ryan and Cooper to be here. I haven't seen them. Smead? 
The boss here wants to know if you're going to stay and share with us or someplace you're not known. If I do leave, how about some money to go on? You always got your share. Yeah. I've got more than my share of being the goat. Aren't you satisfied? That depends on what's next on your program. You're enough to keep us busy for the next few days. We're going to clean the Pearson Ranch of every bit of stock, and we'll have bills of sale, so it'll make it a safe job. How do you aim to do that? <laughs> Mills will be appointed the girl's guardian, the papers will be signed tomorrow, and Mills will do what the boss says. And since our only ranger friends quit, we're going to clean up and get out before any more come. I never could understand that play of Larson's. He knew he was going to be fired, so he quit. Keep him up, Larson! found a visitor. He was spying on you. He tied me up, but Ryan found me when my heart nickered. How long you been out there? Long enough. And you heard our plans. What'll we do with him? And after what he's heard, there's only one thing we can do. Or maybe two. What's the other? We need good men. He'd be strung up if he goes back to town, so he might throw in with us. How about it, Larson? You don't mean that any more than I would if I accepted. Well, that's settled. Who wants the job? How about me? One more shooting won't get me hung any quicker. Go ahead. Come on, Larson, get over there. I'm not inviting witnesses. What you men don't see, you can't tell about. Here, Larson! Get out. Come on, boys. We'll meet early tomorrow. Larson, when I fire, you fall. What is it, Cooper? Here. I don't want to be caught carrying his gun. His gun? That gives me an idea. I said there were to be no witnesses, and that still goes. All right, Smee. I'll see you tomorrow. What's your game, Smeed? That's my business. You quit the Rangers so you could settle with me for killing Tom Pearson, didn't you? That's right. Well, you're wrong, Larson. I didn't do it. The rest of the gang think I've killed you, don't they? You see, you can't always believe the evidence, no matter how strong it is. Before Pearson died, he mentioned your name. Because I knew who killed him. Who was it? I'm settling that account myself. I don't suppose you'd tell me who the boss is. If you can't guess, you're not as smart as I thought you were. When I leave here, I'm ordering the Pearson outfit. That fits my plans. Go to it. But you'll find it hard to make him believe it. Maybe you could help me. Nope. I'm playing a lone hand. I've got one more job to do. Then I'm leaving this country. Well, we better hold in for the night in the brush. In the morning, you go your way, and I'll go mine. Smeed, I believe you're innocent. And I'll do everything I can to help you. Thanks, Larson. Hello, Molly. 
Have you signed those guardianship papers? Why, no. Mr. Mills isn't here yet. What's the matter? Plenty. It's all a crooked plot to rob you of everything you own. Well, the judge is here. We'll tell him. I was hoping you had left the country, Lawson, as I advised. It's a good thing I didn't. What do you mean? I mean there's a plot on to ruin this ranch. I know what I'm talking about, Judge. I was taken prisoner last night by a band of outlaws. And I heard them say that... Isn't that Larson's horse? Yeah, it looks like it. That's funny. Keep your eyes open. All right. I escaped and came here to warn you. I don't believe a word of it. Why, I do. Why should he... Larson. You didn't expect to see me alive, did you, Mills? What do you mean? You thought I was killed in that cabin up Rock Canyon. I don't know what you're talking about. I did hear you'd been shot, but it was at Beeman's last night. And of course, as state's attorney, you took no further interest in the matter. I heard enough last night to know that Mills is working with the outlaws in this deal, either as a willing accomplice or because they're forcing him to help them. Do you think he's the man to be appointed Molly's guardian? If anybody's working with the outlaws, you are. You were seen talking to that man who caused the mistrial. And you cleared out of town to give him his chance. If that is so, I hardly see why Larson would come to warn us. If you finish listening to these lies, we'll get on with our business. You're not going through with this, Mills. If you sign those papers, Judge, you'll regret it the rest of your life. Larson, I'm tired of your interference. Now get out of here! March! March! Dan! You might at least help me with him. Now, let's get those papers signed. Now, I think we better delay matters. Why? Because I'm not satisfied that things are as they should be. I have important business in town. I must leave immediately. I think you're unnecessarily alarmed over the impossible story Larson told. I don't consider it entirely impossible. We can keep Larson here. Keep Larson here until you hear from me. Are you coming with me? No, I'll meet you in town later. I want to ride over the Circle T and see Burke if he's still there. I'm sorry this had to happen, Molly. But when you deal with criminals, you can't use gloves. Dan is not a criminal. Someday you'll realize your mistake. And know I'm working only for your good. Where's the judge? Where's Mills? They've gone to town. I've got to stop them. 
before they sign those papers. You ain't stopping nobody. He's fainted. Quick, get some water on the back porch. I'm all right, Molly. Find some of your riders and tell them to look out for a raid. Oh, oh, all right, Dan. We have to hurry. Find the boys, Kirk. It's an outlaw raid. How are you going to explain this? I didn't do it, Larson. I couldn't. You see? He's my father. Your father? He's still alive, but hard hit. Who did it? The same man that killed Pearson. I reckon you know. He got Molly's guardianship papers, too. We'd better get him to the closest ranch. That'll be the Perkins place. Put on your gun. Let me handle this. Well, so Smeed got the judge, did he? And you got Smeed. Good work, Dan. You're on, Carl. Wally didn't shoot the judge any more than I did. Well, maybe you know what you're talking about, Dan, but blamed if I do. Boys, you all know me, and you know I'm telling the truth. I want you to help get the judge to Perkins' range. After you... I figure I'm needing some help there pronto. Why? What's up, Dan? I haven't time to explain now. Only let Wally Smead play his own hand the way he wants to. I'll be responsible for him. Let us hand here, Pete. Ought to be satisfied with that herd. Fine looking beef. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
I go, headed for the border. Never lost a head either. Who's that? Hussy! Come on, let's get out of here. Mills has got Molly. They're in that cabin over there. Come on. Right over here. I'm afraid to shoot on account of Molly. Well, what'll we do? You draw their fire from the front. I'll sneak around the back way. Right. Come back here! Oh, let me go! Dan, he's been hard hit. It's been Mills. 
all along. First man I killed wasn't self-defense. I told him who I was. That gave him a hold over me and Dad. What was Mill's game, Wally? He wanted a string of ranches clear to the border. So he could run his stolen stock through. Uh, Pearson's was the next. Dan, I've always been a black sheep. Please, don't tell anybody else who I was. I won't, Wally. Who do you suppose it is? I don't know, but we're going to find out. They've stopped firing. You boys watch the front. Sims, we'll sneak around the back way. There's a gang out there, Molly. They're closing in on us. Quick, the closet. You're in a spot, Larson. Taking the law into your own hands. My word is worth more than yours in this deal. You're not a ranger anymore. You made a bad break when you resigned. That's where you made your mistake, Mills. What do you mean? You thought I resigned, but I didn't. I just wanted to bring you into the open. And I've sure done it. Don't try and make a break, Mills, or you'll be the first man I've ever shot in the back. Let's bust in the door. Back way, boys. Come on. Look, it's a posse. and a posse. Oh, oh, Dan. Good work, Carl. You got here just in time. Well, don't look like you needed any help. <laughs> <laughs> 